we will now determine the intervals uh, where f of x is uh, greater than g of x. Uh, for this, uh, I am going to find the intervals where f of x is uh, less than uh, g of x. And then we have to take the opposite of this one, which gives the intervals where f of x is uh, greater than g of x. Uh, in this graph, this uh, line is uh, the graph of f of x. And this curve, which is a parabola, is the graph of uh, f, uh, g of x. So let's see where f of x is uh, less than g of x. That is, uh, wherever the line is below this uh, parabola graph, we see that uh, f of x is less than g of x. Clearly, we can see that uh, from x equal to negative 2 to x equal to 1, the line is below the graph of the parabola. So we can see that this is the parabola and this is the line. So the graph of the parabola is, is above or the line is below the graph of the parabola. So in this interval that is from x equal to negative 2 to x equal to positive 1, f of x is less than g of x. And this is the only interval uh, where the f of x is less than g of x. And this means every other interval f of x is greater than g of x. So we have to take the opposite. That is, uh, when we calculate the interval where f of x is greater than g of x, we should include all the intervals. Uh, when we consider the complete interval from negative infinity to positive infinity, we should uh, exclude this interval. Let's uh, write down that. That is, uh, from negative infinity to negative 2, we have excluded this interval as well as uh, we should put union now. Uh, when we exclude this interval, we write down the next interval that is from 1 to positive infinity. Uh, f of x is not less than g of x. Otherwise, we say that f of x is greater than g of x only in this interval. That is from negative infinity to negative 2 union from 1 to infinity. And in fact, uh, this can be observed uh, on the graph also. If you see that uh, from x equal to 1 to infinity, that is the line is here and the graph of the parabola, that is the g of x, is below this line. So this is from 1 to infinity and also from negative infinity to negative 2, that is this line is uh, below this uh, blue graph, that is the graph of a g of x. So we see that in these two intervals, the graph of uh, f of x is uh, greater than g of x.